How did Premier become one of Georgia's largest and most successful HVAC companies? By providing fast, friendly, professional service. Did I say fast? Yep, fast. Today, Premier helps hundreds of customers each day because we built a team of highly trained, qualified technicians ready to address AC, indoor air quality, and commercial services. If your AC does need to be replaced, breathe easy with perfectly time-saving on a new AC system. Free estimates at up to $2,000 in rebates, so you'll beat the heat and total comfort all summer long. Log on to Dublin.PremierIsHere.com. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the duo, Coach <laughs> Burdett. Yeah, we're back, back back from the dead here today for seven on seven. Uh, Coach, a couple of weeks into the summer, but first let's start. Let's talk about today. How, how did this uh, seven on seven camp, I guess you could call it, just a one day event, but how did it go? Well, it's just an opportunity for us to get some reps against uh, some other teams, maybe just get exposed to some different schemes, different, you know, uh, just get, get break up the monotony of, mm -hmm. of us having to go against each other every right. day and uh, giving the kids a reason to compete and, you know, and, uh, bring some other teams in, get some, just get some good quality reps, get some good teams. Absolutely. How helpful is it going to be for your guys uh, seeing these other looks from the, from these different teams? Um, it's good because, you know, we don't really prepare for it, sure. you know, so it's just, uh, you know, kind of making adjustments on the fly for mm -hmm. the coaching staff and, and uh, you know, kids getting, uh, you know, some, some live bullets thrown at them. Right. And, and so they get to adjust on the, how, how, what's our rules for adjustment? Do we, are we lining up right? Are we, are we running the routes where they're supposed to be running? Are we taking our drops where they're supposed to be? So it's just, it's just good to get exposed to different things, I think, this time of year. Yeah, absolutely. And you got the film that's going to be big for, for your staff and these players as well to, to see at this point, okay, how did that do? And, and for your staff, you know, okay, who's giving us what we need out there? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, is, we can uh, evaluate our players, you know, kind of make sure they're in the right positions to, to have success. And then uh, we can also, you know, do a little self scout on our scheme That's and right. make sure we're doing things. What do we need to go back and revisit some things that we're not doing well? Are we do we need to get some more stuff in the right. in the in the package? So that's it's right. just that's what we got going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Coach, talk about you had two squads out here other than yours. Is um, uh, what two teams do we have out here today? Oh, uh, we had Hawkinsville and uh, Johnson County, and both teams brought a JV squad, and so okay. we got a chance to break up and and our. Uh, our junior varsity and ninth grade were on one end, and our, our varsity was on the other end. So, we kind of had a little round robin going on right. on both sides. So, two two offensive huddles against one defensive huddle. So, things coming at you fast. Two different offenses coming at you at the same time. So, you got to be on your toes on the defensive side of the ball. But you get your reps in. That's the biggest thing. That's what I was going to say. That there's, I mean, we have a lot of kids out here. But like you said, we split the field. And on the other side here, we had the, the linemen. Not a kid out here for, with the blue and white who didn't get some good reps in today. Yeah, and that's been a you know a really a point of emphasis for us this summer is we got we've had right at 100 and not 105 between 100 and 105 mm -hmm. uh, here every day. I want good them getting work. So yeah. we actually what we got we got a uh, we got two JV squads. We mm -hmm. kind of got a JV and a ninth grade, and uh, it's it's a little complicated at times, but uh, we're trying to get both of those teams reps and then our varsities. Our varsity starters and, and, and immediate backups kind of on one end getting all the reps. So, um, you know, 100 kids, we want them all, we want them all going home feeling like got some, right. got some in today. Yeah, so. 100, that's got to be up from our past couple of years. Am I right about that? Yeah, I think we had a few numbers that first year, but uh, a lot of kids new to the game mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It ended up, ended up kind of kind of petering off toward the end. But uh, this year's solid numbers, and I think that's just a testament to what uh, Coach Floyd's got going that's on right. at the middle school. So. You know, we got 45 ninth graders that have, that have been, uh, you know, we're in that 40 range every day showing up. And then we got a real big junior class. It's got 35 or so kids in it. We have right at 75 kids on the roster, on our 10 through 12 roster. And we've had right at 70, 71, 72 show up every day. Gotcha. You know, not necessarily the same 71 sure. or 72, but, but that's, that's those numbers. Yeah. And you talk about it, it, it can be challenging having 100 uh, plus kids out here. How, how are we able to manage that? How's your staff able to manage that each day? Well, I was, it's, it's a little inconvenient right now. My, my original plan was to, to completely separate the ninth grade, but just uh, 
we, we I thought we had that done at one point, but it's it's just uh, people uh, getting hired in different jobs in the county later and, and stuff like that. We we hadn't been able to, so we're we're just trying to roll them in with the varsity staff and and uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but but we're getting them their reps and and they're getting coached by the varsity position coach. So it's been pretty good. Gotcha. So coach, how how many weeks are we into the summer now? A couple. This was the end of our second week. Second week, okay. So lay it out for us. What's coming up? I know we got a big uh, seven on seven next week. Is that right? Yeah, we're gonna go. We've been going on Mondays uh, through Thursday in the summer, and uh, you know we try to throw against somebody, do something competitive mm -hmm. on Thursday. So next Thursday is the Jimmy Fields yeah. uh, Invitational over there. So uh, uh, you know, you know, because your dad's helping put That's it right. on, but. Uh, you know, FCA's putting it on and at Trinity, so it'll be some good work. You know, I don't think it's going to be like a tournament style deal, but we're going to get some some action against several teams, and yeah. and so similar to how we did it today, but probably a couple more teams, and uh, then, you know, we'll have a message and, and food hopefully, and you know, it'll be a good experience for our guys. And then that following week will be the last week before our Fourth of July break, okay. and uh, we're going to go to Monticello for a two day OTA. We're going to go over there for uh, you know, we're going to try to take as many JV kids as we can and. And our varsity and JV get some action, uh, you know, live football, you know, staying off the ground, but live football uh, in the half pad camp over there. So absolutely. Then so. we'll we'll take a we'll take a break after that and go everybody go to the beach. So. Yeah, there, there we go. go. There we go. Sounds like a, a real emphasis this um, this summer on getting everyone reps, everyone active. Well, that we want to make sure everybody's ready. Like mm -hmm. the um, you know, make sure that we have a starter ready, backup ready. You know, we hear we were hit with uh, some pretty bad injuries last year, and 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 I felt like it took us a couple weeks to kind of recover yeah. from the injury. So, you know, if we have that uh, you know, chaos like that this year, we want to make sure somebody's ready to go. Yeah. And uh, you never know who's going down or who's up next. And maybe it's people playing multiple positions. Maybe it's an offensive guy playing defense. Maybe it's a defensive guy playing offense. And uh, all our sub varsity guys, we want them. We want them exposed to a lot of football this summer. That's so. Right. That's right. Coach, rumors that I'll be out at 7-on-7 seven seven with the mic and the camera again. So let's run it back this time next week. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, head man for the Raiders, Coach Burdett. Hi, I'm Michael Wheelis with Dub and Piggly Wiggly, inviting you to come in and shop with us today. We've got a great lineup of produce, groceries, and fresh meats, including pork, beef, and chicken. Come shop with us today where we cut fresh every day. Don't forget, our butchers are always ready for any special cuts. Call ahead, and we'll be glad to get it ready for you today. Dublin Piggly Wiggly, your authorized certified Angus beef dealer. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are, of course, just wrapped up 7-on-7 seven seven camp. Just talked to Coach Burdett. Now, the head man for Hawkinsville, we've got Coach Suttles here with us, Coach. Uh, wrap up today for us. How'd it go for you guys? Uh, well, it was a great chance for, this is our first time competing this mm -hmm. summer with another team. Uh, so the players and coaches are probably tired of competing against ourselves at home. A mm -hmm. uh, good time to get out and compete against somebody in a different color, color jersey um, and not have to see the same offensive plays ran over and over that we run against ourselves. Um, our guys were excited to get out here on the turf and uh, just be able to get after right. it. We got a lot of returners from last year, so the excitement for this season is high. Um, and I was real pleased with what our guys, the energy that they brought to this, how serious they took it, and the outcome, how we how we performed today. I was very pleased with it. Yeah, absolutely, Coach. Coming off a, a pretty good year last year, and you mentioned your guys are excited, and they brought the energy today. How, how's the energy been day in and day out during the summer? Because it, it can be monotonous sometimes, but you really need your players to bring that energy each day. Sure. Well, since uh, the end of the season last year, uh, our playoff loss at Early County, our guys have – uh, been ready for football to That's be back. Right. Um, I'm with them every day in the weight room, so I see, uh, you know, how hard they work on a daily basis, and I and I know that, uh, you know, all the time you're here, and I can't wait for football season, Coach. That's well, right. There's a lot of our guys that it, they truly mean that. They're not just saying it. So uh, this time of year, to me, the the best time of year is summer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
maybe my superintendent isn't watching, but you know, when you're not in school and you That's get right. to do just football, sure. uh, these kids can have fun playing football and then be kids. Um, right. So it's, to me, it's the best time of year. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you talk about having fun. Uh, how do you how do you manage that? Because summer summer's hard. I mean, summer football is those are hard workouts. Uh, are your guys enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? I I, I enjoy every second of it. <laughs> uh, right. But you know, I don't have to lift weights and run sprints sure, and then run sure. a million plays. But but you know, you put it this way. You have to want to play football, and not just at Augustville High School, at any school. You've got to want to do it. Yes, sir. Uh, and look, as my goal as a coach is is to make it fun for them. Mm -hmm. Kids start playing football at the rec level because football is fun. That's right. Uh, and I don't want to go to work and it be work for me. So when it becomes work for the high school kids, it's time to reevaluate how you do things. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of fun with it. Our That's kids right. are smiling all the time. It's it's not always easy. Everything's not fun. I mean, you know, uh, if you want to be good, there's there's things that are tough about it, and That's often. Right. Um, yeah. But uh, it's my job to make sure it is fun, and I think our kids do enjoy. They're showing up every day, so mm -hmm. they, I think they enjoy it enough to go. come back. That's right. They they keep coming back for you. So, uh, coach, you mentioned this is your first uh, competition this summer. Uh, what else do you guys have coming up uh, throughout the rest of the summer? Sure. Well, we uh, pretty much will. Uh, compete at least once every week. Next okay. week we have a home uh, seven on seven and gotcha. lineman competition with Taylor County, Crawford County, and uh, let's see, Taylor, Crawford, and Dodge will be there. Um, following week after that, we have our first uh, OTA padded camp at Jeff Davis. Uh, then we get that uh, dead week, and we have uh, another seven on seven at Dodge, and then uh, another padded camp. So pretty much one time a week, we're competing with somebody else. Gotcha. So you're really getting three practice days in and one competition day for the rest of the summer. Got gotcha, you, yeah. And of course, it's seven on seven. We, we highlight these guys a lot, but those linemen over there busting their sure. tails as That's well. That's where the real work's been. Let's done. highlight those guys. What do they work on today? Uh, well, we, we basically, with uh, West Lawrence and Johnson County, uh, and you do this a lot at your own practices where you're blocking your offensive plays against your all, your defense and they're holding sure. bags. So uh, we get to see Wes Lawrence's defense with mm -hmm. their guys holding bags. It's new faces, uh, new blocking. Well, not not you have to adjust your rules based on how another team's lined up. Uh, I promise you, uh, the the pretty guys out here on the seven on seven, you know, they they caught <laughs> passes and so forth. Those guys showed up dirty. That's right. Uh, yeah. And there ain't no mud anywhere. Yeah, and they showed yeah. up dirty somehow. So they got after it. I I know that. Can't wait to talk to my coaches and see some film on that. I'm excited Absolutely. about that. Absolutely. It, it sounded like they were popping pads over there with, with no pads. They, they were hitting over there. Yeah, I, I, I agree. There was a lot of noise coming. Right. I, I got a little bored up here because I wanted to walk down <laughs> yeah, there because those guys were hooping and hollering and getting after it. Um, but, hey, you got to have good linemen yeah, at any no level doubt. of football to be successful. Uh, it, it all comes down to blocking and tackling. And those guys for, for decades have been under hundreds. Since football started, they've been underrated. Um, but, you know, they're the backbone of every football team, Absolutely. including ours. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. Those linemen getting after it. Hawkinsville is looking to get after the rest of this summer. A big summer ahead, a big season ahead. Coach, thank you for stopping in. We wish you the best this year. Thank you. I appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just giving you a small taste today, talking to Coach Burdett and Coach Sotos from Hawkinsville. Coach Burdett, of course, West Lawrence head man. Just giving you a taste of what these football players are going through each day. Of course, everyone comes out when the lights are bright, but summer football is when the work is put in and these kids are busting their tail to get the product on the field for you. So we had to bring it to you today. It was seven on seven here at the West Side. Of course, some more summer football coverage. Uh, check out interview with East Lawrence a couple of uh, days ago. And now we've been out here seven on seven checking in with the West and Hawkinsville. Johnson County was out here as well. Did not get a chance to talk to them, but they were grinding as well. Rest assured, I promise you. So ladies and gentlemen, seven on seven today at West Lawrence. Mm -hmm.